let us pray. We will conquer this wilderness. It will not consume us. Writer-director Dave Eggers' The Witch arrives this weekend in theaters after a tremendous run on the festival circuit. The film even pulled in the coveted Director's Award at Sundance in 2015, which is no small feat for a low-budget horror film. The movie is garnering praise for its uncompromising tone and the taboo depths it plunges to in the name of faith in its 17th century puritanical setting, shining a light into the darker places rarely seen on screen. It's the latest acclaimed genre film to arrive upon a wave of critical praise, and by opening in 1800 theaters, it's becoming less of an underdog and more of a known commodity. But there's some trouble that comes with that. Hype can be a gift and a curse, and though there are some shocking and memorable moments in The Witch, it's unlikely to connect as deeply as the marketing would lead one to believe. It's certainly not a film for everyone, not even all fans of supernatural horror movies. While it is certainly a breath of fresh air when compared to the micro-budget trend of found footage movies that dominate the medium, it doesn't have the resonance that true classics in the genre have. It's also hampered by the authentic dialogue of the time, which is to be respected, but requires a lot of extra work by the viewer to stay caught up. Children, away from this. Thomas, say now. <laughs> There's also a weird imbalance to the structure of the movie. It's a definite slow burn, but when things do get cranked up, it's not quite as unforgettable and harrowing as the buzz indicates. It's a movie that, without unfair expectations, is a worthy addition to the genre, but one that truly suffers when the audience is expecting the next big thing. Horror fans should definitely see The Witch and support an independent movie that captures the tone and vibe of many classics in the genre, but it would be wise to lower the expectations a little bit before doing so. Let us leave the wood. 